To do the Astran cycle ergometer test, first adjust the seat post to the client's height. Placing the seat at hip height is usually a good start, but further adjustments might be necessary. The point is that you don't want them to be rocking side to side in their seat, and you want a slight bend in their knee when they're at full pedal extension. Next, calibrate the cycle ergometer. Make sure the client's feet are off the pedals, and adjust the gauge so that the marks line up at zero. Now, ask the client to hop on the bike and start pedaling. You're going to want to select a resistance that will produce between 125 and 170 beats per minute. The formula is 0.04 kilopons per kilogram of the client's weight. And then you round to the nearest 1 kilopon for men and the nearest 0.5 kilopon for women. In this case, we're starting the test at 3 kilopons. Twist the dial clockwise to bring the resistance up. The test is now started so ask the client to pedal at a constant rate of 50 RPMs and simultaneously start the timer. After two minutes, take their heart rate. If it's not within 125 to 170 beats per minute, reset the timer and adjust the ergometer resistance accordingly. You've essentially started over. Regardless of whether or not you had to adjust the resistance, Record their heart rate, RPM, and workload at the end of each minute. That means minute 3, 4, 5, and 6. Take the average heart rate of minute 5 and minute 6, and if steady state heart rate was achieved, that means a variance of less than 10 beats per minute, then the test is now complete. If steady state heart rate was not achieved, extend the test minute by minute until it is. When the test is done, using the average heart rate from the final two minutes of this test, connect the dots on the nomogram table to estimate their VO2 max. Remember that for clients older than 25, there's also an age correction factor. 